welcome back so you have just learned your first sql query that is just a small one line of code and i hope that you are also as excited as i am and i am so excited because this one line of code basically gives you the independence you are no more dependent on the reports that are provided to you by the system rather now you can get the data from database the data that you want right so now in this lecture we will learn a small addition to this query and with that you will be able to basically extract any specific type of data that you want from any table so first of all let us say you do not want to extract every single column from a table you just want two three specific columns how we can do that let us go here and let us remove this star sign and let us actually give the column name that you want to extract so basically let us say i just want date and amount from day from gl for columns i just want these two columns for rows i want all the data for now let us press run and now you can see with a small addition now you can extract any specific columns from your uh, from your table let us go back to the original state again select the star press f5 we have the complete table and let us say we only want to see the amount column just write that press f5 and you can see you have your specific column so this way you can select one column or multiple columns as you like after this the second obvious question would be that can you actually filter down the rows as well just like you filtered the columns and you only specific picked up the specific columns can you also filter down the rows to only see the rows that you want to see well the answer is yes so for example say you only want to see the transactions here where the account key is let us say 10 so all you got to do is to come here and add one small word that is where select start from start from gl where the account key is equal to 10 so all we got to do is to add this where clause and then give the condition i have given that where account key equals 10 press f5 and now you can see you are only looking at the transactions where account key is 10 so basically you have filtered down your complete general ledger to see one specific ledger only and now let us take it even further let us say you don't want to see all the territories you only want to see where the territory key is equal to for example 3 so all i got to do is to add a condition here so let us read it again select everything from gl where account key is 10 i would say and territory key territory underscore key is equal to 3 and now press f5 again and you can see now you have your data where account key is 10 and the territory key is 3 and you can see here that your data is now restricted to 771 rows only which was actually 27,000 and something rows so the data has been filtered down now let us say you only want to see the transactions where the amount is greater than for example $100,000 so all I got to do is to come here and add another condition and amount is greater than this symbol will show greater than I would say $100,000 and now I'll press F5 and you can see your data has been filtered down and there are only two transactions in your complete general ledger of 27,000 rows there are only two rows where account key is 10 and territory key is 3 and the amount is greater than $100,000 so with this now you have basic idea how you can not just see any table but you can also filter down the columns to see specific columns only and you can also filter down the rows to see specific rows which which meet your conditions 
with this i would like to request you to spend some time here and play around applying different conditions and see how you can get the data just a small thing please do not apply the conditions on date and the text here because that is a little bit uh, different i will be showing that to you in the next lecture